What is up everyone, Kyle here, otherwise known as Twisted 500. Back with another video. What you see behind me is a new vehicle. It is a 2023 Ford Ranger trimmer. Brand new, just got it. Uh, I'm gonna be unveiling this thing here, showing you guys uh, driving impressions, giving a walk around. But basically, from what I've seen with this thing, it is a nice little truck. Obviously it's little, it's not an F-150 full size anything. A great stance. Uh, absolutely love the paint i'm not gonna get too far into it let me get over there jump over there and show you guys actually what it looks like what is up everyone kyle here otherwise known as twisted 500 back with another video new car in the driveway yes that's right i bought a ford ranger trimmer now let's focus back to me uh it's actually a nice little thing uh, i've been seeing them around nice little lift um this will still go besides the raptor uh wife has it she's at work because i wanted to not leave that car the Raptor at the dealership when I brought it home. But anyways, I'm uh, gonna be unveiling this thing, seeing how um, how it drives, things like that. And is it worth it? I mean, I've been doing a lot of those stuff lately, but it does look amazing. Uh, we'll go over paint. It is hot pepper red. It looks absolutely phenomenal in the sun, even with it being dirty. Told them not to wash it because I want to take care of it all myself. But this thing, this thing looks nice, especially for, for just me a little Ranger. So let's get over there to it, a little walk around. Man, this camera just does not do it justice. Like in the sun, this thing just looks, after there it goes, this thing just looks absolutely phenomenal. So it is a tremor. Increased ground clearance. Obviously these steps people are hit or miss on. It does have leather interior, tremor, embroidered seats. Uh, it is a little dirty, still got to clean it up. Auxiliary switches. Man, that just looks fantastic. Look at that color. It is like, oh, it's metallic. It's pretty. Graphite painted upgraded wheels. Does have Fox in the front. Fox. Upgraded struts in the front. Graphite wheels. I did opt in for the spray and bed liner. You guys can see there. This is a bed extender. It is a little bit of a short bed. As you guys can see, it's actually smaller. That's it. It is smaller than the Raptor. Um, so I wanted something to be able to extend it. So I got the bed extender to show you how guys that how that works. Actually, it's pretty nice. So it is just an XLT Ford shutdown all Lariat ordering because of shortages, things like that. With the Lariat, I mean, you need to get a different cluster. You got body colored handles. These were body colored as well, this top part. And then you got LED headlights. Um, so that's really the only difference in it. A few other things here and there. But for what I wanted the truck for, that's just about perfect. Open this thing up. Seats are comfortable. Auxiliary switches, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Got them all here that works. So those can be used for lights and stuff. Full leather floor mats. It is pretty nice actually, but needs to be cleaned for sure. Is one thing annoying about this thing. Uh, Raptor soft close tailgate. This one does not like it will just fall if you let it. Cool thing about the bed extender, so obviously it can go like this. There's a little clip here that you can just take it out. But all you do is just super easy, one-handed. Just right there. So then you can have extended space. Like I said, one-handed, just flips right over. So it's stowed away. Or you can actually use these, like I said earlier, take it out and completely remove it. As you guys can see, just super dirty too. Man, I do love this color though, hot pepper red. MSRP was 47.9. Uh, XLT trimmer package, hot pepper red. So you guys can see there. They did take out 4G hotspot simply because of uh, chip shortages. But let's get this thing cleaned up. 
and watch this paint just pop. So yeah, chip shortages was the only reason I got rid of the 4G LTE. I mean, they gave me my money back on that. Not like I really used it anyways, would be cool to have, but yes, uh, they did get rid of that simply because of chip shortages. But let's get this thing cleaned up. Hopefully there'll still be some light when I get done. But man, I camera doesn't do it justice. The hot pepper red is a fantastic color. Um, I, I like it better than the velocity blue. So the orange on the Shelby, the twist, the twister, uh, twister orange, goodness, it's been that long. Well, twister orange looked good. No metallic, nothing like that. Velocity blue, I thought looked really nice. Like it was like a premium paint. Um, but I, I do like this a lot more. So when we get, when the wife gets back home, I'll show you both side by side. So far, not too many issues with it. Obviously would love a soft close tailgate. Um, maybe I'm just lazy. But then with the back seat, it does have storage underneath. But the whole thing comes up. Like the whole thing comes up. So under seat storage. So you can't do like a 60-40 split. Like if you're gonna be making a trip somewhere and you wanna fold up, you know, give let one person sit, fold up the other two seats like the Raptor can for gear, storage, stuff like that, so you can have three people show up, you can't do that. It either has to be all the way up or all the way down, no in between, but you know, it's just, just little things with a, not a full size truck, so that's why Ford probably didn't do that. Along with the graphite wheels, these general grabber tires, these things are super naughty. I don't, probably won't do great on ice, but snow, mud, anything like that, these things would be Pretty nice tires. Look at that, look at that tread depth. So it did come with these very nice floor mats, came with these rubber ones, and just the normal carpet ones. So it is a nice touch. And do you say Ranger? Obviously it's Ranger, but no, tr no trimmer or anything like that. But they are, they are nice little things, so I'll probably throw these in not the, the carpet ones, but do they do come with the truck, they give you both so you can decide which ones you want. All cleaned up. Look at how, man, that just looks great. All right, guys, there it is. It's all cleaned up. Uh, probably gonna post this video here, do a driving impression video for the next one. Man, this thing, I never think, I didn't think I'd like it this much, but I like it. It's a nice little truck, looks great. Uh, those steps on the side, I probably have to go, I keep like sliding off of them because I'm. Like, see how they hang lower? Let me go over here. See how they hang lower? Like, the bar is here, and then the steps are down there. I keep finding myself kind of sliding off them, and I heard that they're shin eaters. So we'll see. I've gotten pretty close a few times when my shoes are wet from washing it. So those might have to go, but other than that, a few likes here and there, and that thing is nice. Can't wait for more driving pushing videos. That's to come. This vehicle, I can now do more to that vehicle. Suspension, brakes, all that good stuff, turn it into, complete the series of 5K build, turning it into a track car. It is February now. Uh, April is when my events really start, so we have plenty of time to get, to get uh, that car in tip top shape for the track. Driving impressions, configurable screens, not too much on the display because it's not the LCD display that the Lariat has, but these up there switches are within reach. You don't have to reach very far, which is nice. Normal Apple Sync 3 or Ford Sync 3. Basic, but nice little truck. Normal driving impressions, brakes were absolutely horrific when I first got the vehicle. Um, I thought it was just because they were, 
you know, the brakes. But as I started driving it more, brakes got better, which clearly meant that they just need to be broken in, basically. Brakes are a lot better, so that was one thing I was worried about. Now, if you guys notice this angle here, I did this on purpose. Black, tan. So apparently this is normal for Rangers. I've looked up a lot of pictures from Ford, things like that, and almost all of them look like this, where it has the tan or sandstone uh, roof headliner and then the black seats and everything. So I don't know why Ford did that, but that is another thing that I've noticed. Uh, driving impressions, I mean, it's a Ranger. Steering's electric, so just super quick, not much feel to it, um, but it does zip around pretty good. It is a lighter truck uh, with the power that it makes is is not bad. You don't feel like you're you know, having to put it to the floor to get anywhere. All right, guys, finishing update to the new Ranger. Put about three, two, 300 miles on this thing so far. What I've seen so far is, I mean, it's a decent little truck, soft suspension. I uh, haven't taken it off-road yet. No testing like that just yet. But if you're just wanting a daily driver, Ford claims it will get 19 miles a gallon. I'm averaging 22 right now. Um, so decent that way. If you want something nice, they'll just get you around. Brake pedal hasn't really improved all that much. Uh, if I'll look into it a little bit more, and if I feel like it needs fixed, I'll bring it back to Ford. Other than that, everything's been, been not too bad. I mean, as you can tell, it looks... Honestly, I think it looks fantastic. It's a nice little truck just getting around. Obviously, it's not like this thing. Uh, this thing's a lot smoother, a lot more power. You can tell that. You can tell it's just a heavier vehicle. Off-roading, I kind of want to put these two things against each other just to see how it works. But I'll have to have some time to do that. And I'll need more than basically one driver to, to do this because I have to get a vehicle there, a vehicle back, stuff like that. But overall, not too bad. Excited to see how this thing does long term, especially off-roading, things like that, hunting season, all that kind of stuff. Uh, gonna get some lights put on it like we have on the Raptor here. But other than that, stuff coming. This car, as you can see, wheels are on it and it is lowered. Suspension video install coming soon. Night and day difference on how this car handles with, with those mods. Excited to get, excited for autocross season to start and get that going. But until then, guys, I'll see y'all soon.